my sperm donor was cheating on my mom while she was battling cancer, now he wants me to support his new love and attend the wedding. English is not my first language so I apologize for any mistakes in advance. When I was 17, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. Two years later, she passed away, and during these two years, my dad was not around much, he was always working and going on business trips. My aunt and grandma ended up being the main caretakers for mom. About five months after she passed, my dad introduced me to his new girlfriend. I was beyond furious, I yelled at him about how quickly he moved on from mom when they decided to tell me they had been in a relationship for three years. He had been cheating on my mom while she was struggling to stay alive, his business trips were to meet his affair partner. I was so angry that I packed my stuff and left his house, and I haven't spoken to him since that day. Currently, I am 25. The only family I speak to is an aunt who helped me when I left my dad's house. A few days ago, my aunt called me, asked how I was, and then asked me if I had heard from dad. I responded, there's no reason why I would hear from him again. My aunt mentioned that dad is getting married to his affair partner, and suggested that attending his wedding could help mend our relationship. To that, I replied, why would I do that, he is a piece of trash to me, and I don't care about him at all. There was a moment of silence on the phone before my dad spoke up, asking if that was truly how I felt about him. Upon hearing his voice, I immediately ended the call. I realized he was with my aunt when she made the call to me. I texted my aunt, reminding her that I had asked her not to tell dad anything about me, and she had agreed back then. She replied, calling me inconsiderate for what I said, mentioning that my dad is crushed hearing that, and suggesting that I should move on by now. Not wanting to argue with someone who had helped me, I blocked her. Over the next two days, I received a wedding invitation in my mailbox. The only person in the family who knew my address was my aunt, and she had given my number to various family members. I am being flooded with calls and texts from dad, uncles, cousins, and aunts, all urging me to give him a second chance and attend the wedding. Some are even calling me names for expressing what I did. I also received a text from the affair partner, stating that my dad is considering postponing the wedding and encouraging me to talk to him. For context, the affair partner was a friend of my mom and knew she had cancer. I replied, stating that it's not my fault if he postpones the wedding. I don't want a relationship with dad or her, and they are trying to force it. It got quiet after that, but being told by so many people from my dad's side that I am wrong made me feel conflicted. However, I am prioritizing my feelings. Update 1. Hello, first, I want to thank all who commented on the first post and all who messaged me. It really helped me stick with my decision not to go to the wedding. I wanted to update earlier, but it's been pretty hectic with work. So, after the many texts and calls from multiple family members, I sent a text to all the numbers detailing what dad did and why I chose to be no contact with him. I then blocked all the numbers. I have changed my number, but kept the old number in a separate phone to collect evidence if they start to harass me from random numbers. Luckily, nothing happened, and I thought that was that. A week or so after that, my aunt's fiancé came to my apartment. He knew what time I got off work and was waiting for me in the parking lot. I was apprehensive, but he assured me he only wanted to talk. According to him, the text I sent has caused a lot of conflict in that family. He told me that some cousins who did not know what happened in the past started to question dad and the affair partner. They began to get defensive and deny it, but someone revealed that it was true. This has caused a massive argument within the family, with some cousins pulling out of the wedding. Dad wanted to postpone the wedding so he could talk to me, but the affair partner threatened to leave him if he did that. The news of what dad and the affair partner did also reached some of their friends who were at one point friends of my mom as well. Some of them have also pulled out of the wedding, and this caused the affair partner to have a breakdown and started banning anyone who brings it up, including family members, from the wedding. According to my aunt's fiancé, she is blaming all of this on me, saying I did this intentionally. I laughed at that. The wedding is still somehow happening. I asked him about my aunt and how all this started, and he said all he knows is that there was a conversation about how bad the family would look if I weren't at the wedding, and that my aunt offered to call me. He said that he disagreed, but she did it anyway. He mentioned that he is only here because he felt I needed to know what happened. I thanked him, but said I will be going completely no contact with her and, by extension, him as well. He agreed, wished me well, and left. I am not going to lie and say I am completely okay. I miss my aunt, I miss my mom, but I know what I did was the right thing. I am currently staying with my girlfriend, and she has been cheering me up by coming up with absurd ways to ruin the wedding. As many of you said, I should try therapy, and I am going to take that advice. Some of the comments have made me realize that I have bottled up a lot of grief and anger. I am super nervous about it, but I also feel it'll do me good. So, once again, thank you for all your comments and advice. Ciao.